So we are back here. The kids and I are gonna move the cows back to the grazing fields at the back of the property. We've got our little sidekick with us today. Ah. Pepper's with us. Say hi, say hi. We're gonna try to get this done. They're following us pretty good right now. Let's hope this goes off without a hitch. So we're in the pasture at the back of our field, ready to go through the woods. We got all the cows but two back here with us, so we're ready to do this. Uh, one of them, y'all saw a lot of you commented on it. I told you in that video where we were working calves and we were weaning calves, that we were separating off one to medicate. So she's the skinny one you saw in the crowd. She needs some attention. Uh, we think she's got what's called anaplas. So um, I'll explain that to y'all probably at another time. But she's getting some help that she needs. It's a tick or mosquito-borne disease in their blood. And so it definitely can be taken care of. So that's what we've got her up doing. And so she's staying behind. We'll trailer her back here. And then one mom one mama cow that will not leave the fence line where her baby is so she's going to get trailered back here with um the one we call the brahma because she's got some brahma in her uh is the one that has anaplasm so that's what's up we are running these through the woods are y'all ready yep we yep. got a little co-worker today look puppy she is getting some on the job training she's doing excellent um she's she's really improving so i really have a lot of hope she's going to be a great cattle dog she turned one on october 27th right around emily's birthday emily turned 16 pepper turned one and it's like she's turned a corner she's calmed down some uh she's listening better so lane what do you think you think she's doing great yeah yeah lane loves her how you feeling lane Good. Feeling good? Yeah. Over the COVID? Yeah, kicks butt. Yeah, you did. So here we go. We are going to run these through the woods, hopefully without a hitch. And uh, then we got to take a wire down to extend their pasture back there. And then we're going on a road trip. Yay! Yay, road trip. We're out of quarantine <laughs> for the second time. <laughs> Hopefully the last time. That's right. So we kind of put the camera down yesterday. We got all the cows minus one. One would not go anywhere away from her baby. So we got all the rest of them moved back to the back. So that is awesome. They're back there. We extended their pasture back there. So they're actually got more land back there to graze. We got one more paddock move back there, but that'll be a while from now because they have got a lot to clean up. Don't they, Ben? That is. That is correct. They've got protein tubs, they've got grass, um, they've got a creek that's fresh flowing, clean water. They are set up. So today you can tell we are not at the farm. We're in the truck and we're on a road trip. Got the whole fam. We're out of quarantine. Yeah, yeah. We're so excited. Say hey, Lane. Hey, Lane. We're excited to be back among the living. We have missed people. We have missed just getting out and driving around. The fall colors are winding down here. They're still very beautiful, but they are kind of on their last leg. They're gonna, the leaves are gonna blow off pretty soon. So this is a, a pretty drive. Yeah, it's a perfect time for a drive, yeah, really. It's a pretty drive up 65. Yeah. So sorry, our trailer keeps beeping at us, but we are actually headed y'all are probably gonna flip out. We're going to get another old truck. One was not enough, obviously. So we're going to get another one, aren't we? Yep. Always pays to have extra, extra parts that will end up paying for itself several times over so I can turn more trash into treasure. Yeah. So this one does not even run, correct? Uh, the engine runs. The engine is practically brand new. So I don't know if y'all could hear him. The engine is basically new they said it's got 2500 miles on a brand new engine so but it is 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 it the same year model as what we bought the other day it's the exact same year model it is the only difference in it and the one we bought is the one we bought's a standard transmission this one is an automatic transmission but the transmission is burned up in this one so figuring out how to get it on the trailer and because it's not going to drive. Well, I, I don't know that for sure. 
Okay, that's what we're that's what we're anticipating is that uh, we're gonna have to get it up on the trailer and we're trailering at home, obviously. We, we trailered the last one home, you'll know too, because these old trucks, we don't wanna drive this far. Ben drove five hours to get the other truck and today we're driving two hours. And actually he drove five hours there and five back. He drove 10 hours total. So uh, we're driving two hours away from our house and then we'll drive two hours back. But um, so, long story short, we are buying this for parts, basically, because what we bought the other day is so old. We found this is such a good deal on this one today, and even just the motor will almost pay for this truck today. So, and then anything else we could use, I mean, you gotta think doors, windshields, what else, Ben? Power steering pump, because we, we got some whining going on on the one at home. I mean, I gotta look at this one and see what all is still usable and still in good shape but yeah you've got all your accessories you've got the power steering pump you've got alternators you've got all your sheet metal on there our cab has got some uh, some rust under the doors so if we end up deciding to change anything like that out uh, right now we've got a well right now we do not have an emergency brake on there so when you get out it can just roll Hopefully this one's got a good emergency brake cable. Right. Just different parts that you go looking for this and that, it's gonna... <laughs> that trailer. Yeah, got a loose wire. There's a loose wire so it keeps telling us, check your wiring. But So this is one thing we've learned along the way. We've been completely debt free before we almost are again. And uh, one thing we have learned is with equipment, is not to be afraid to buy used vehicles, used equipment that has saved us thousands upon thousands of dollars over the years uh, when we were first married and trying to get going even with the farm and stuff we kept we just had this mindset that if anything was gonna last any length of time we had to buy new stuff and we've just learned over time that is just simply not the case you can take a truck that you love and that you want to keep and if it starts getting a lot of problems you are way better off to fix that than to go put yourself in debt and buy a whole new vehicle. Now, there's situations you're gonna wanna go buy something new, I understand that, and we probably will again as well, but buying used and then fixing those things has saved so much money. One way we've done that is when it's something like this old truck we bought, if we find another one that's like pretty much shot that someone just wants to get rid of for parts that we can get for next to nothing that extends the life of the used thing we bought whatever it may be we do the same thing with hay mowers and all kinds of stuff so that's where we're going so we actually took a little detour uh, to come see the elk the fall is a great time to see the elk in Arkansas they were introduced in Arkansas several years ago and you can definitely see them in the fall uh, up in a place called Boxley Valley or around Ponca is a good uh, place to go. There's an education center in Ponca about the elk and they're just really neat to see. We didn't see many on this trip, but we saw some and that's really exciting. Other times we've come, we've just seen fields and fields full of them. Huge bulls uh, with their huge horns. They're just so like almost majestic looking they're just they're amazing to see and um, so that's what we did when we're up in this area we try every few years to swing through here and it's just a sight to behold so I encourage y'all if you're ever in Arkansas come check it out just head towards Boxley Valley and you'll see cars on the side of the road and everything um, taking pictures and videos and everything of these beautiful animals soon as I said we didn't see very many on this trip we past this humongous bull out in the middle of a field by itself. I hope y'all can see it. It's a little far away, but he is beautiful. So we ended up finding the place. It was a long ways back in the back in the boonies is what i call it back down some long dirt roads but we ended up finding it got there i looked over the truck i listened to it run you can tell it's a fairly new engine by the gaskets on the headers um, just looking over the whole thing the way the thing purrs like a kitten and it does not smoke like this one i could tell it was a fairly good deal uh, looking at it uh, closer it still has some rust just like most any vehicle that old is going to have but it does have some good sheet metal on it that will end up uh 
primer and painting, swapping out and putting on the farm truck. And then when time is right and we need to do it and have time to do it, we're going to pull the engine and Lane wants to go ahead and pull the exhaust because it sounds so good. Out of this truck that we just bought, put it over into the farm truck. We didn't end up recording anything yesterday. It was uh, kind of stressful of trying to fit this truck on this trailer. You can see right here how close it is from the edge of the wheels to the fender wells on this trailer. I borrowed this trailer from a really good friend of mine and I measured before I went up there and off of the farm truck we was going to have like three inches. Well, once we got there, this one had wider tires and we had like, I mean, a half of an inch maybe on both sides. So now that we got it here, it's time to get it off the trailer, park it, and return this trailer to our friend and get on with our daily chores. So let's see how it goes offloading this. I will say, going up there, we already knew that the transmission was bad in this truck. We didn't go there for the transmission. For one reason, that transmission in it is a uh, automatic the farm truck is a standard, so the transmission was not a reason for getting this, but all the other parts and accessories all over it are just gonna end up saving lots of money over time, and we'll be able to repurpose, reuse, and recycle. The reason I borrowed this trailer is because you've seen on the other trailer, the floor of it was like waist high or so. Like I said earlier, this thing does not have a uh, drive in the transmission, but what we did figure out while we were there, is it did work in reverse. So we ended up uh, using a come along to winch this thing up on there, and hopefully the transmission still works enough in reverse that I can back it off of there. And this trailer, is a tilt trailer which made it a whole lot easier and it's lower made it a whole lot easier getting it up on there you're missing something yeah so just like the other truck this one here has its problems too uh they don't have a steering wheel or a nut for the steering wheel to stay on there so you just gotta put it on there and don't don't pull or you're gonna be driving down the road like that actually it won't drive down the road all right, let's see if this thing will start. Going. Hold up. Look how tight this fit is. And it's like that on both sides. another job done be able to use parts here pretty soon gonna take this trailer back return it we appreciate y'all watching hope y'all love some of this footage beautiful country up in north arkansas thank y'all for watching until next time god bless